Salve, my friends, and welcome back to SPQR Productions. The video that you are currently watching is the first of a new series that I have planned out for the rest of this year. I call it When in Rome. As I mentioned in my previous video, I have been absent from the channel for a little while. This is because, while away, I have been traveling to Rome to work on this new series, which consists of a variety of photos and videos that were filmed on site over the past few weeks. I plan to post a new episode of the series roughly once a month, if everything else in my schedule goes according to plan, and, as I mentioned, plan to continue it at least up until the end of this year. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's get into today's topic at hand, Rome's manhole covers. Now, you may be wondering to yourself as to why I, a classical YouTuber, chose to do a video on modern metal covers that adorn the streets of a modern-day city, and, I will admit, that is a very reasonable thought. Today's video will be focused not so much around ancient Rome, but rather Rome from 90 years ago, as in fascist Rome. While this topic, again, may seem out of my jurisdiction, many of you may be surprised to know that Mussolini and lots of the propaganda that he used relates directly to the Roman Empire. When Mussolini took power, one of the many things that he promised the people of Italy who had gone through tons of hardship throughout the past decades, was to bring the country back to its glory days, those being the legendary times of the Roman and Republic and Empire that brought to people recollections of imperial glory and power. He did this in many ways. However, in this video, we will be looking at the small physical reminders that he scattered throughout the city in a very clever way, not so much centering our attention around his massive monuments and his ancient archaeological excavations. There are a few in particular that I would like to showcase, so, with all that out of the way, let's get into it. One of the first examples that I saw while in Rome is located in Piazza Augusto Imperatori, which happens to be the location of both the Arapaches and the Mausoleum of Augustus. In fact, while on the topic, it was not only Mussolini who excavated these, but who also constructed the entire piazza in the first place. If one looks at one of the many fascist buildings that surround the piazza, they may notice that there is a heavy amount of antiquitous iconography. My favorite example of this is seen in the northeast side of the piazza, in the form of an angel carrying a bundle of sticks. Do not be fooled, however, by this seemingly unimportant relief, as the symbolism behind it carries quite a heavy weight. That bundle of sticks that the angel is holding, if you haven't already guessed, is fascis, which is a symbol that consists of an axe surrounded by a bundle of wooden logs. During the Republic, it essentially symbolized total government power, and it was held by one of two consuls, or heads of state, and was transferred between them monthly. Its presence on this building implies, essentially, Mussolini's total power, simple enough, but I was also wondering as to whether or not the angel's presence implies that his power could be God-given, or even possibly whether or not he wanted to be considered divine himself. This is not something that I have researched, however, and will let you draw your own conclusions. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Second, I would like to very briefly touch on Rome's nazoni, or drinking fountains, many of which were installed under Mussolini and have minor fascist elements. Many of the ones that remain present in the city were constructed under Mussolini, and they were made mostly out of travertine. Some of the fascist symbols from antiquity that these carry include the phrase SPQR, which we will go into more depth on when we cover the manholes, as well as what I believe to be a crown, a number, another symbol not only of Mussolini's total power, but possibly divine power. I do not want to say much more than this, however, as I plan to have a whole video discussing the amazing and unique history of these fountains rela released later this year. Finally, we will talk about the main subject of today's video, the manhole covers seen throughout Rome. These covers, if you didn't already figure it out yourself, were installed by Mussolini as yet another way to bring back the glory days of Rome back into the people's minds. While there isn't much history behind the actual manhole covers themselves, I would like to take a moment to discuss some of the various designs that are evident across the city. In this first example, you can clearly see the fasces present on the upper top half of the cover. This, as we mentioned previously, is a commonly used symbol during the time of Mussolini, and one that clearly demonstrates this connection of the old to the new. The second example is the most common design, as far as I could tell. It is just a clear and simple SPQR, or, when read out, Senatus Populus Romanus. As promised, 
we will briefly discuss the importance of this term to Mussolini and his fascist regime. The term, when translated, means the Senate and the people of Rome, and it was commonly used throughout the Republic and the Empire. This phrase, to put it simply, was so important because it united the Italian people. Whether you were rich or poor, old or young, or a man or a woman, you were part of this big, unified power. This was powerful stuff, and Mussolini's constant usage of this phrase shows this. Finally, we will look at this example, which, in addition to showing SBQR, also shows the Celtic cross, an old Christian symbol which has elements of both Christianity and Roman Mithraism. These are just a few of the many designs that Mussolini used to boost his fascist party, so feel free to do your own research if you are interested. So, why did I choose manholes as the main subject of this video? As somebody who has spent quite a bit of time in Rome, there truly are few things as constant and noticeable as these manholes, as they are present on just about every street, piazza, and sidewalk. To put it simply, I was just curious, and after all this time, I am both happy that I found the answer, and that I was able to share it with all of you. Thank you so much for watching the video, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss future ones, and I hope to see you again very, very soon.